Jesus is God's house, and he is here today. He hears each song we sing and listens while we pray. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Growing in Grace for this weekend. And I know what you're thinking. Hey, wait a minute. You're not supposed to be here first. Miss Beth is supposed to be here first. And you're right. She is supposed to be here first. But this weekend, she's not feeling so good. So she asked me to try and fill in for her. Now, she does a lot of what we put together. And I'm not going to be able to be Miss Beth. But I'll do my best to help cover for her. And we'll see her next time. And we'll have... Uh, we'll keep her in our prayer for the end of our time together today. So this weekend is a special one because it brings to an, a close, brings to an end, our long seven-week celebration of Easter when God raised Jesus from the dead. And the day that we celebrate today and this weekend is when Jesus went back to heaven. Um, one reason that we think of heaven as being up, because when people talk about heaven, they often point up, right? Is because the Bible tells us that when the time was up for Jesus to leave the earth, he, he was taken up into heaven. So the name that we give to this special day is Ascension Day. Ascension means to go up. So let's move on to the Bible stories that we have for today. Yes, I said Bible stories because there's two plus a verse. Uh, the first one is from Easter, Easter morning, and the way that the Gospel of Luke tells the story in chapter 24. Here's a little bit of that story. On the first day of the week, at early dawn, the women came to the tomb taking the spices that they had prepared. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb, but when they went in, they did not find Jesus' body. While they were confused about this, suddenly two men in dazzling clothes stood beside them. The women were terrified and bowed their faces toward the ground. But the men said to them, Why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here, but has risen. So in that Bible story, there were two men, right, dressed in dazzling clothes, and they were talking to the women. And did you notice which way the women were looking? It said they bowed their faces to the ground. So they were looking down. Remember that. Forty days later, when it was time for Jesus to go back to heaven, the day we call Ascension, uh, that's where our second story comes from. In the first chapter of the book of Acts, it tells us what happened on that day. Jesus had been speaking to his disciples, his friends, one final time. And then it says, When Jesus finished speaking, as his disciples were watching, Jesus was lifted up and a cloud took him out of their sight. While he was going and the disciples were gazing up toward heaven, Suddenly, two men in white robes stood by them. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up toward heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. So this time, there are two men again, dressed in white. I'm going to call them angels, like in the other story. In fact, I think they were the same two guys. Anyway, they were talking to the disciples, and which way were the disciples looking? They were looking up, okay? I do have one more. So remember, women were looking down, the men were looking up. I have one more Bible verse, but I'm going to save that for a little while later. You probably know what these are. They're called binoculars. Bi means two, and there's two lenses that people use to look at things that are kind of far away. Um, let me ask a question. If I wanted to look at tiny, tiny ants on the ground or something even smaller, 
Do you think I would use these to look down at the ground? Probably not. There is something that would be better to look at really small things. No, binoculars are not good for looking down at little things. A microscope would be better for that. And do you notice how the girl is looking down? When you use a microscope, you usually look down. Now, how about would I use this microscope to look at stars in the night sky above me? Hmm. No, you wouldn't use a microscope to look at the stars in the sky. You would use a telescope. Much better for that. And do you notice how the boy is looking up with his telescope? So with a microscope, you look down. With a telescope, you look up. The binoculars you might use to look forward to see what's in front of you. These binoculars remind me of giraffes, of all things. Of all the animals in Africa, the giraffe is kind of like binoculars. They can see a long way. They have a long view. And they can look forward and see if there is anything coming that might mean trouble. Like a lion. I can imagine those zebras down there saying, Hey, Mr. Giraffe, thank you for looking out for danger for us. So what would happen if I was looking down all the time? That might be okay if I was standing still, but if I wanted to move around, I might eventually bump into something like this computer, or I might walk into a pole or a wall, or even walk right out into the street if I wasn't paying attention. And what would happen if you were looking up all the time? Well, some of the same things might happen. You might bump into something, you might walk out into traffic, and you might even step in a hole that's out there in front of you. So if you look down all the time, that could be trouble. If you looked up all the time, that could be trouble. But if you look forward, if you look out, then you'll be able to see what's coming, where you're going, and you'll be able to walk the right way, okay? And I think that's exactly what God is asking all of us to do. And so now it's time for the Bible verse that I mentioned. It comes from one of the shortest books in the Bible called Jude, near the end of the New Testament, and this is what it says. Look forward to the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ that leads to eternal life. When we say we are looking forward to something, that usually means we're excited about it, right? Nobody says, I'm looking forward to being sick, or I'm looking forward to having a really bad day, or I'm looking forward to falling down and hurting myself. Nobody says that. So I wonder what are some of the things that you are looking forward to? If I could hear you right now, I bet I would hear you say things like, oh, the end of the school year, or summer vacation. And the way things have been, I'm not sure how that's going to be this year. But what about, I'm looking forward to my birthday. That would be good. Or I'm looking forward to Christmas. Or I'm looking forward to, and you can tell me what you are looking forward to when we meet for some time in the future. So if you think about the excitement that comes from looking forward to those kind of days in our lives, I think, I think that's the way God wants us to look forward to the ways that Jesus is going to work in our lives. We should look forward to the way Jesus is going to be in our lives to help us, to guide us, to direct us. That's what we look forward to. Now, for, for some signs for today, first of all, there is a sign for the ascension of Jesus. Hold out one hand flat, that's the ground. Put two fingers on it like a person standing on the ground, and then just go up until you can't see him anymore. The next two, I think you're already going to know. 
Can you guess what the sign is for up? Just point up. And the next one is also pretty hard. Can you guess what the sign is for down? Down. That was pretty hard. So we're also going to have, I don't know if you remember, but we did the sign for look. This is C. Two fingers by your eye going this way. Turn them around and point them out. That's the sign for look. I'm looking at you. The sign for look up. Okay. The sign for look down. And the sign for look forward. Use both of them to get your, to really look forward to something. Use both hands. Okay. Now, this week's song, um, Miss Beth did find a song to take her place this week. It's one we've actually been singing at church for the last couple of weeks, and we're going to sing it tomorrow on May 16th once again as we celebrate Jesus' ascension. I think you might know it. It's called, Lord, I Lift Your Name on High, and here it is. <laughs> That's all we have time for this week. I hope someday soon I will get to see you at church for our outdoor worship services. Sundays at noon in the back by the pavilion. Uh, as I've mentioned before, since we're not doing children's sermons there, we're going to keep doing this video for you. And maybe in June or maybe sometime in the summer, we'll get back inside the church. Um, so before we say goodbye, it's of course time for our prayer. And so if you're ready, repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for your love. Now that Jesus 
has ascended and gone back into heaven. We know that he looks down on all of us with love. Help us look forward to sharing his love with others. And we pray for Miss Beth that she feel better soon. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining us again this week. We'll look forward to having Miss Beth back next week. Maybe we'll see you on Sunday, May 16th, or on one of the Sundays after. Until then, be well, stay safe, and God bless you. Bye-bye.